And we are back to recap tonight's scoring. Big 7-1 win for the Green Wave. Storm got started in the first period. Drury got on the board first. After the Green Wave successfully killed off two penalties, there was a face-off to the right side of goaltender Josh Bordeaux. The Wave weren't able to clear the zone. Tyler Pettit picked up the biscuit, passed it over to Jamison Bayless. Bayless fed the streaking Ethan Wilson who had cut in behind the Green Wave defense and made no mistake in giving the visitors the 1-0 lead, 7-20 into the first period. A little bit later on, Tyler Pettit of Drury was called for a high sticking penalty. Just 30 seconds after that, Dave Delisle went to the box for roughing. Green Wave now had a two-man advantage. Shane Prusak had the puck along the Drury goal line. Sammy Knight was camped out in the slot and won the battle for the loose puck notching power play goal and tying the hockey game with just under one minute to go in the first period of play. Green Wave applied relentless pressure in the Drury zone early in the second period. MJ Paulin cut behind the Drury cage and found Trevor Kucheski was taking a beating in the slot. Trevor drilled the puck past Abby Fulz, giving the Wave the 2-1 lead, just 53 ticks into the second period. Green Wave's third goal of the game was scored by Sammy Knight, his second of the game. Although the assists were given to Hunter Smith and Matt Garvin on the score sheet, you can clearly see Matt Lavoie, number 20, banking the pass off the boards to Knight, who cruised down the left side of the ice. Much like he did last week against East Hampton, Sammy showed incredible patience, waited for the jury goalie to commit, deeped and tucked the biscuit in the basket for the 3-1 lead. Then just like they did against Agawam last Wednesday, the Green Wave scored the third of three quick goals to take a commanding 4-1 lead. RJ Grondon fed the puck to Hunter Smith at the point. Smith let a wrist shot fly and Jake Jurek redirected the puck past the Drury netminder, completing three goals in a span of just one minute and 24 seconds. The Wave extended their lead to 5-1 with 8.45 to go in the second period. Shane Prusak had the puck behind the Drury net and made a perfect pass to Trevor Kaczewski who had cut in from the high slot and chalked up his second goal of the night. In the third period, Sammy Knight completed his hat trick. Kevin Bauman fed Sammy with a crisp pass just inside the Drury blue line. Knight ripped a laser from inside the blue line, giving the Wave a 6-1 lead. Not to be outdone, Trevor Kaczewski completed his hat trick with just over six minutes remaining. After winning a battle beneath the Drury goal line, TK got the puck over to Shane Prusak, who was in the far corner. Kaczewski was camped out behind the Drury D, and Pru made a perfect seeing eye pass to Trevor, who hammered the puck home to close out the scoring on the night. That made it 7-1 Green Wave. Now at the other end of the ice, Josh Bordeaux stopped 18 of the 19 shots that he faced. The only blemish, that first period Drury goal that stood between him and his second varsity shutout. Just want to remind you, the next Green Wave Hockey live stream will be Friday, January 28th at 8.30 p.m. from the Mullen Center practice rink on the UMass campus when the Amherst Hurricanes take on the Green Wave. The following night, Saturday, January 29th, we'll be back at the CMA in Greenfield for 6.30 p.m. when Assabet Valley comes into Greenfield to play the Green Wave. That's all for now. This is Skate Doctor saying good night from Greenfield.